What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan with Poise and today we're going to look at how to use the Conversion Plus app with your Shopify store to convert more sales. Stick around to the end of the video and you're going to see what the app actually looks like installed on my store. Right now we're in the Shopify app store and I'm going to take a look at the Shopify app Conversion Plus and show you guys how to use it and how to get it installed in your store. So this app is great for kind of pushing people to buy a product once they've already added it to cart. And it provides that necessary sense of urgency to kind of push that customer that extra distance and make that purchase for you. So let's go ahead and add this app to my store and I'm going to show you guys how to get it set up real quick. It's super easy to use, maybe one of the most uh, simple apps that I've installed on my store. And immediately I noticed an increase in conversion rates. So I'm just going to click here on the install app button. Okay, now that the app's been installed, we get to tweak a couple of things and get this set up perfectly to start making higher conversions from our Add to Cart page. So the first thing that we get to decide is how long we're reserving the cart for for our customers. And we want to give them a little bit of time to think, but not too much so that they can leave. Let's give them, let's give them eight minutes. And then we can edit this message here to kind of customize it towards our store. You know, if we have a specific theme, we might want to change that. We can say... We're holding your cart for, and that kind of makes it seem like we're doing them a favor. We're holding them their cart because other people will want to buy those items, and we can only hold it for so long. So there's kind of a logical reason as to why we're doing this, because, uh, you know, it's a hot item, and it will go to someone else if they don't buy it. So then there's um, a text that will show after it expires, and... It's going to say cart reservation expired. Uh, when the cart actually does expire, you can choose whether or not you want to clear the cart. And I'm going to say no because I have some other abandoned checkout things uh, that I'm going to send to follow up after this cart expires. And I actually want the person to be able to have another chance at that item. So I'm just going to make sure to remember that when I'm kind of following up with my abandoned carts to say, uh, hey, your card expired, but we've saved this item for you and just kind of push that one more time and see if I can follow up with that message. And now we're going to tweak the colors a little bit just to make it fit with our theme. Kind of, let's say our store is blue, so we're going to change to these more blue colors. And once all of that is updated, we have it enabled. Hit save. And you will have a new add to cart button. Let's take a look at what it looks like when I add a product to cart and the conversion plus pop-up pops up. So you see here at the top of the page, we are holding the cart for 5 minutes and 35 seconds. The message pops up and it displays right here above the cart page. Uh, on mobile, it actually looks a little bit cleaner because it's more fitted to the mobile design. And personally, that's where most of my customers are going to be coming from. But it still does a really good job of getting the job done here on desktop.